One of the things you notice about the early church was that they were ready, ready to pray, ready to give, ready to serve, and ready with the gospel. There are three verses I'd like to leave with you before I tell this remarkable story. The Bible speaks about brands plucked from the burning, as if just at the last moment, when it looks like there's no hope left, God reaches down and he rescues them. It's like the devil's licking his chops and thinking, I got this one. And after a life of sin, in the very last moments of their life, they're swept away into the presence of God. Of course, they'll have forever to serve him, forever to worship him. And it's such an enjoyable thing to see God's people who are ready and the three verses I leave with you is Romans 1, 15, where Paul writes, As much as is in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are in Rome also. Now, Paul loved to preach to Jews. He was built for it. He could do backflips in the Old Testament. But God had sent him to the Gentiles. And so, what he's saying here is, I'm ready for every person, Jew or Gentile. I'm ready to go and preach the gospel in Rome. And of course, that was going to cost him his life. But he was ready to do it. And that's a good question to ask ourselves. Am I ready to take the gospel to people that I'm not necessarily comfy with? People that aren't in my circle, so to speak. Am I ready to go to Samaria, to go to reach people that don't quite fit in with my way of, of thinking. So this is a tremendous thing, to be ready for every person. And then secondly, to be ready in every season. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. 2 Timothy 4.2. Not just when it's easy, not just when the the fruit is ripe for the picking. You just have to shake the branch and it falls into your hand. But be ready to do the hard work in the off season, right? The plowing and the watering and the weeding and the waiting to see the crop come in. Uh, that's uh, 2 Timothy 4.2. And then 1 Peter 3.15, always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Ready for every person, ready in every season, and ready with every reason. We should be equipped. We may get stumped once, but we should never be stumped with the same question twice. We should seek God's answers, seek the best way to answer uh, the particular questions we're being asked, we should be ready to answer for our faith and explain to people not only what we believe, but why we believe it. All right, now on to the story. I just received this today. This is a text from my good friend Dave Dixon in California, and his mother just recently went home to heaven, and now her older sister died, and, and this is what the text is about. Um... By the way, Dave's own dear wife, Margie, also went to heaven. And so in spite of all of these challenges in Dave's life, he's ready. He's ready to preach the gospel. And so we read here, October 25, I flew to Iowa to share the gospel at my Aunt Betty's funeral. She was 100 years old when she went to be with the Lord. She was my mom's older sister. And then he says, while I was staying at my cousin's home, her husband, Carl, told me an amazing encounter he had as a physical therapist at a local hospital in Cedar Rapids. He entered the room of a patient for a physical therapy session and discovered the patient gripping the bedside bars and shaking all over, yelling, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. Carl sent up a quick prayer to the Lord on what he should say. The Lord gave him Romans 5, 6. 
Romans 5, 6 says, For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. He said to the man, I have a verse from the Bible. And then he quoted Romans 5, 6. Immediately, the man stopped shaking and let go of the bed bars. He simply said, I'm saved. <laughs> I'm saved. Carl asked him, how do you know you're saved? He replied, because of that verse. That took place on a Friday. He went back on Monday to see how he was doing, and the nurse said the patient had passed away during the weekend. Dave adds, incredible how God directs us. I'll say it is. So, dear Christian, be ready. Have a verse, have a, have a, a thought about how wonderful the Lord Jesus is so that you can share, right? The scripture says to go forth and to share, to declare the excellencies of him who has called us out of darkness into light. So be, be thinking about how wonderful it is to be saved and think about some of these amazing gospel verses and be ready and allow the Lord to use what's in your heart to come to your lips just in the nick of time. And that poor man, I'm looking forward to meeting him in heaven.